Greetings. I am Teresa, prayer chaplain at Unity of the Valley Spiritual Center, and I am thankful for my family and the love and support that they provide to me and that I'm able to give to them. I'm also very, very thankful for my community and the continuous love and support of this wonderful family I have at Unity of the Valley Spiritual Center. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm John Working. I'm, I'm, I'm Alicia Working. And I'm Lucy Working. And we're happy to be here. And we, we're grateful to be here. We are so thankful to be here. We're thankful to have our granddaughter joining us. Yeah. We love and are thankful for our son and daughter-in-law and our, ethic, our grandson, Jamin. We're thankful for our big family. We're thankful for our church family. And we're all wish we could see you in person. But we are happy to be able to Zoom with you. And we love you. We miss you. And we are grateful for everything, for our health, for a beautiful weather we've had, the lovely rain that we had, and the lovely time we had at our craft fair on Saturday. <laughs> and I'm thankful for my family, my friends, everyone around me. And I'm thankful for everyone that's healthy and... Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Bye. Bye. I'm Prayer Chaplain Donovan. I'm at Unity of the Valley in Vacaville, and I am thankful for uh, all the services that we get at Unity and all the other prayer chaplains that we work well together, and especially for Reverend Dahlia. Um, who provides excellent services every week and other services during the week. And so that is a big part of our life, and we're very thankful for that. I'm Prayer Chaplain Patricia, and I am with Unity of the Valley. And I am so thankful for my church family and for my family. And thank you, God. I am so thankful for this year. Hi, I'm Marion Graff. I am very thankful for my Unity family. They are so supportive to me. I'm thankful for my nice home, and I'm thankful for all the food that Christine is bringing me. Hi, Unity Church family. Uh, this is Greg Lobes, and uh, I, I want to wish you all a uh, uh, Happy Thanksgiving, and I'm so thankful for, um, well, my life and my journey that I hold very sacred, I always have, and uh, and it's blessed me and graced me with uh, a lot of information because it uh, guided me through uh, service work and uh, uh, universal order of things and and i've been blessed to be dipped in nature i'm so grateful for that i'm so very grateful for for being surrounded by nature and uh and always embracing my ever expanding higher higher good god bless you all hi i'm dina mitchell a member of unity of the valley since 2005 I decided to read this instead of ad lib it. I'm grateful for the opportunity to say thank you to the community of Unity and thank you each individually for the beauty that you all behold. Every time since 2005, I've stepped foot into our spiritual center, I have held, felt held in a soulful loving hug. Thank you for my sons, for my family and friends. Thank you for my faith. When bumps in the road, sometimes boulders in the road, make life difficult to understand, I can lean into faith and find something to be grateful for. I know without a doubt that gratitude is the first step to climbing through any challenge. In the recent months and years, life has presented itself with a plethora of growth opportunities. In the blink of an eye, that saying, when my dad died suddenly, who was my best friend, my marriage ended and our family home burnt down, this saying has had a new reality for me and my boys, as it has for so many of humankind lately. When the sun rises and the sun sets each day, I've seen no other useful choice than to say thank you and to be courageous and curious and greet each day with love. 
When I screw up, I'm grateful to remember self-compassion and forgiveness. Thank you for the obstacles that are teachable moments, even when I want to yell, enough is enough. It's hard to say, thank you, house, for burning down. But in the sorrow, I can see glimmers of potential, as if, if I pause and look. A chapter closed, very sad and sudden for our family. I see a story unfolding. A story that Matt and Ryan and I must actively choose to leap forward with 20 seconds of courage. I see no other option. I'd like to take this time to say thank you personally for your calls and support and donations which have comforted our family greatly dur during a very ungrounded time. I pray I can pay it forward in some way. Thank you, Dahlia, and the staff and volunteers at Unity for your perseverance in outreach and providing services and assistance to the community during these days of isolation and unknowns. Your giving spirits and the wisdom you offer is an ultimate expression of love and action. I put my feet on the floor today, safe and warm, with my sons, with the love of this community. That is everything to me. That is gratitude. I wish the same for you all. Thank you, universe, and thank you, God. I'm Gretchen. I'm one of the prayer chaplains, and I get to say a few words about being thankful. It's a good season for thankful, but every day, every hour, every minute can be a good season for thankful. So I thought and I decided that I am very thankful for all of you. I am thankful for you because I think of you as my family. I am thankful for my family, but I have a tiny family. So it's wonderful for me that I get to have you as my family as well in the community. I am thankful that I have been able to take more time with prayer and meditation and talking to some of you and looking forward to talking to more of you or seeing you. That would be lovely. I thought about wearing my mask and then ripping it off to see, you know, if you knew any difference. But um, basically, I'm thankful because I can take my time sometimes and really center and relax to get to a place that I am very comfortable and feel the flow with God. And the more I practice, the more comfortable I can be. And the more I can be thankful for the dragonflies and the flowers and the dogs, because I have one, but other people's dogs as well. All the things, all the beings, and the earth itself. So, let's be thankful together. Bye for now. Hi, I'm Warren Spaeth, and I just want to say that I'm thankful today and always for our Unity Center, our Vacaville Church. It's meant the world to me these last 10 years or so. And the community that it supports around us, our friends, our spiritual partners in our prayers and in what we do for each other, it has just meant the world to me. It has blessed my life in so many ways. So I'm so thankful for our spiritual community and unity of the valley. My name is Janet. And when I was five, I was grateful for an ice cream cone. And now in my 60s, I'm grateful for ice cream cones, knowing what's behind it. The cows, the farmers, the milk, the healthy grass, the water, the sun, creating the ice cream, adding the cones, and a store with building and lights and people. And the gratitude for this one small item runs so deeply. And everything is really an ice cream cone template. And so I am deeply gra uh, grateful for everything that I see. And the walls of our sanctuary, our sanctuary really say it all. Love, hope, peace, joy, service, compassion. And I love sharing this path with all of my people at our church. 
I've, I've, I feel very strongly on it. And then finally, I have the deepest gratitude for Narayan, my husband, who we've been together for 20 years on this path, this, this God, this spirit. And uh, it just gets better and better to be aligned. So thank you, everybody, for being who you are in our beautiful, wonderful group in Vacaville. Thank you very much. Good morning, Unity of the Valley. I'm Jim Lee. I've been a gardener all of my life, and the simple things in life I am the most thankful for. This is the fall season of the year, and if any of you have driven around town, there is a tree by the merry-go-round in the Nut Tree Plaza, and it really takes your breath away. That's the thing I am most thankful for this fall season because it is, it's about 100 feet tall and 100 feet wide, and it has every color of red, orange, brown, purple. It's just an outstandingly beautiful tree, and that's what I'm grateful for today or thankful for today. Hi, my name is Kathy, and I was asked to comment about my feelings of being thankful during this kind of difficult time period that we're having. And I guess the thing that I'm most thankful for is that Unity taught me to see um, the good in things and the hopeful things that can happen even when difficulties are occurring. So first thing, of course, I'm really so grateful for my family and my friends. It's so wonderful to be able to keep in touch with them. And no matter, you know, really what's going on in terms of COVID and that kind of thing. But I'm also so grateful for um, things that, you know, I never really knew existed before, like Zoom, that we can actually talk to people, a number of people through Zoom. I think that's really, really fun to find out about something I'd like to keep doing even after we're not quarantined or whatever we are. Um, I am grateful for, uh, <laughs> my dog was just barking a minute ago. And nevertheless, I am grateful for her because she's very cheerful and funny and brings a lot of happiness in my life. Um, I'm grateful that we, uh, you know, the, all the things that have happened have brought us to this point in time when I think maybe all of us have learned more than we knew before. So, uh, again, to go back, I'm very much grateful for Unity for teaching me another way to see things so I can notice what I'm thankful for around me. Hey, I'm Narion, and I would like to give thanks for life, to be able to hear and see and touch and smell and feel, to participate and choose and change and create and make mistakes and to wake up every morning to a whole new day with a chance to do better, to be a better person than the day before and to have an opportunity to love and to give love. and to receive love. Hi, my name is Phyllis Flemings, and I am thankful for the opportunity to talk about what I am thankful for. I am thankful for my family. They have been so supportive, especially during this particular time of the year. I'm thankful for my friends. I am thankful for the spiritual community that we have at Unity, for the work that the people are doing, for our leader, for our volunteers, for our staff. I am so thankful for life in general, thankful for our country and for the growth that we are experiencing now. It may not seem that way, but we're all growing, we're all learning, 
even during this particular time of the pandemic. At one time, I would say I am thankful for things that I really enjoy. And other things I say, oh, maybe not so much. But as I have grown, I am thankful for everything because I know that this is a journey that we're on. And I am thankful for the journey. I give thanks every day because I keep a gratitude journal. I started this years ago. So I'm able to, when I get up in the morning, to look around and be thankful for another day and know that something good is going to happen during the day. I may go through ups, I may go through downs, but it's all good. And I say, thank you, God, for all of the blessings that are in my life. I am thankful. I'm thankful that I'm here. And I'm thankful for the place I live. I'm thankful for my what and for my children and I never thought I'd get to be 90 and I'm thankful for that too. Hi, I'm Pat and I want to share with you what I'm most grateful for. Um, I'm most grateful first of all for my life and for my family and for my health and for my faith. And I'm very, very grateful for our community at Unity of the Valley. We are all dedicated, and I'm so grateful to be part of this community. Thank you, and happy Thanksgiving to all. Hi, my name is Marilyn, and these are the things that I'm grateful for. It's just an abbreviated list, however. Of course, family and friends is at the top of the list. And grandchildren are right there as well. I'm thankful that I have a home. I'm thankful that I have a partner that I love. I'm thankful for... A room in my house that's all my own that I can go and meditate in. I'm also thankful for music and books. And um, I'm thankful for my health care. That's become very important the older we get. I'm thankful for the rain that's decided to come and the little cooler temperatures. And I'm thankful, so thankful for my Unity family. Hi, everybody. This is Suzanne Hammerly. Um, I am supposed to share what I'm grateful for right now. And as most of you know, I just moved to Ashland, Oregon from Vacaville, and it's in the middle of the COVID pandemic. So what I'm most grateful for are my friends and family who I've stayed in touch with and Unity Church who I have also been able to stay in touch with because of Zoom. I very much enjoy the Sunday services. I love it when twice a month there's an opportunity for people after the service to, to talk on Zoom and to share what they're doing and what's going on. But the biggest plug I want to give besides Dahlia services is for what Warren is doing on Mondays and Fridays which he has started a Zoom class, but basically it's a class where people can gather and share their lives. And he's doing it on Monday and Friday from 3.30 to 5. And all you have to do to get on it is to let Warren know and he will send you a Zoom invitation. If you don't know how to do Zoom, he will help you learn how. And I hope that's correct, but I know that he has helped many people who were not confident with Zoom, and they now can keep in touch with other people at the church. Um, there's no commitment. If you can go, you go. If you can't, it's fine. And yet there's usually always, Warren will be there, and there usually are a group of people talking and sharing at that time. 
So that's really what I'm the most grateful for is to be able to continue to have a community before I can get to know the community that I've moved to. So I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday and I love everybody. Bye. Hi, I'm Gloria Johnston. I'm thankful and grateful for my health, incredible family, fabulous friends. I'm thankful for the love of God. Hello, my name is Ann Milward, and today I am feeling very thankful for every single day. This is a difficult time in all of our lives, and each day I try to find little beauties and many things to smile about and laugh at, in addition to praying and um, sharing with wonderful friends and family, anything, just communicating is a wonderful thing. I'm, I'm so grateful for the ability to communicate and for my life. Hello. Hi, this is Gloria Ramirez. Savannah. Jalen Smith. We just want to wish you happy Thanksgiving. It's been a while since we've seen everybody. We miss you. And we really hope to be able to see you in person soon. <laughs> and maybe on the virtual cafe on Sunday sometime or Warren's virtual Zoom. But anyway, thank you. And uh, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Bye bye. Hello, I'm Richard, and uh, thinking about what I'm grateful for, feeling what I'm grateful for, one of the main things is uh, having a home and uh, having a partner to share that home with and to create a home with every day, uh, just to go through the creative process of, of uh, moment to moment, day to day, uh, solving problems and uh, not being overwhelmed with concerns about war or whatever other people on this planet are, are uh, having to cope with. Uh, I'm, con I'm grateful this year for discovering uh, that at age 78, I am able to learn a lot of new things with music. I've been recording songs with my extended family on a uh, an app and we record I record a song and I send it to them. They add to it and we have now 15 people in my family sharing music. And uh, we've all been frustrated musicians in our little closet and now we have this community. Also, I'm grateful for the uh, uh, Zoom meetings that I've been having with members of our uh, unity culture. And uh, it's been very interesting uh, to see how, when we're face to face, uh, something has been added this year in during this pandemic of being isolated and having to resort to things like the, the Zoom recording, where you really look face to face with people and you spend enough time to where you get past the hi, oh, are you and aren't I great and you know, aren't you great and you know, where we just relate to each other on a feeling basis. So anyway, I'm enjoying doing that with my friends, with the community, and uh, that's what I'm grateful for. Hi, I'm Cheryl. And I'm thankful for unity, both the worldwide um, unity and our sangha here in Vacaville. I um, have been to many different churches, experienced different forms of religion, and there's an expression that people use with churches that says, 
I felt at home there. And um, I have been in churches where I people use that term, but I have not felt at home. But as soon as I walked into Unity, I felt that. The woman who invited me wasn't there that Sunday, and I knew no one. But after the service, I went and I sat down at a table in the big room, and a wonderful, beautiful lady came over and sat down and talked to me. Her name is Bertha, and uh, I just loved the church, and I am so thankful that Unity is in our lives and that we have been able to keep connected through Zoom through this time. I'm very, very thankful. Thank you. Hi, I'm Hal Milton, Reverend Hal Milton, and uh, I'm just really appreciating what life is bringing us daily. And I'm Reverend Sonia Milton, and today I am grateful for resilience, mine and yours. Hi, I'm Marcy, and I'm thankful for the opportunity I've had this year to slow down, reflect, and reevaluate what truly matters in my life, and focus on those things to move forward more positively. Okay. So now it's going to go, it's going to go to this drop, and then can you edit it? Because it's still recording. <laughs> it's a stop. Good morning. I'm Diana McDaniel. I'm the senior minister at Unity Church of San Leandro. And I give thanks for Reverend Dahlia. She's one of our prayer, prayer partners, and we do great work together. I love praying with her and talking with her. I also give thanks for my family. Who I love very much. And Reverend Dye, you wanted me to make sure that I said and let you know, she didn't ask me to say that she's the one I give thanks for, but it's my was my immediate thought when we talk. Have a great Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm Catherine, and I just want to wish everybody a wonderful Thanksgiving. I am grateful for my husband who sits beside me and our little dog, Sasha, who's in his arms. She's a camera hog. <laughs> and I'm just grateful uh, that we have been well during the coronavirus and that uh, we have not suffered financially. Um, and it's given us a breath to pause and reflect and spend time together, which has been wonderful. Um, I'm very, very grateful for Unity of the Valley Spiritual Center, our lovely and dedicated Reverend Dahlia Adams, and um, all the friends and family that we hold so dear. And I just hope and pray that they continue healthy and, um, and we get through this year and it's going to be, let's affirm, 2021 is a great year. Hi, I'm Don. I'm her other half. Uh, probably the lesser half. She's Not the better lesser. half. <laughs> Not true. Anyway, uh, nice to talk to all of you. I'm sorry that we can't be together at this time of the year. It's always so much fun uh, meeting everybody at, at church and uh, exchanging well wishes. I'm also grateful that we have uh, no coronavirus in our family, our personal family that is. Uh, we did have, uh, my daughter-in-law did have it, but she fought it and won. Uh, hopefully no one else in our church community and family will ever have to fight to fight. I hope uh, you all have a pleasant Thanksgiving. And uh, stay forward, safe, stay look, healthy. Look forward to next year, 2021. Things will get better. Happy Bye. Thanksgiving.
Hi, my name is Elliot. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you to all of the members of the community who have been um, saying hi at the end of the videos, uh, those waves and those smiles and the greetings and the little jokes um, have really meant a lot and I'm really grateful to be able to participate and um, share that energy. So I hope that you're getting that I am very uh, thankful for the way that you make me feel at the end of the services. Um, I want to thank all of the um, tech team who has been um, making it possible for us to communicate with each other and see each other. Hmm. And I want to say thank you to all of the uh, members of the board and all of the people who are keeping the doors open. Thank you. We appreciate you. Um, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, Elliot. Hi, my name is Bobby, and I want to tell you uh, why I am so thankful for each and every one of our Unity family members and all of the vendors, especially, and the patrons that came out for our craft fair last weekend. I had so much fun of seeing what everyone brought and doing a little shopping and uh, supporting a Women of Unity at a great time. Um, seeing uh, some of the members of our community there. And I just am so, so thankful and really appreciate each and every one of you for uh, tuning in to see the broadcasts uh, on Sundays or whenever you can. And I want to thank Reverend Dahlia for those Wednesday evening meditations. Those are so beautiful. They're kind of new and different. And I really appreciate uh, Gary Eisenberg for everything he has done for our community. But we, we couldn't have made it this far without him. So thank you to everyone and namaste. Happy Thanksgiving. Hi, my name is Cindy and uh, I'm just grateful for so many things during this beautiful season. And again, um, I'm so thankful for our Unity family and I miss seeing people in person, but still feel so wrapped in the love and so fortunate to have uh, the Unity family here in Vacaville. And whenever I do occasionally bump into some of you in the stores, I just feel such a strong connection and, and talking to some on the phone. And uh, I just know we love each other so much and look forward to uh, when our church is reopened and being able to hug and see all of you in person. So again, um, love to all, uh, love to Dahlia and, and all that are keeping everything going on. And uh, love you very much. And happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I am Jody Davis Croft, and I am most grateful for the love of my community and the love of my family and my husband. And I am grateful for the choices that we all have. Oh, I'm Brian Croft. And I am grateful for the life lessons this world and spirit has given us this year. Um, we've all had to come up with a different way to communicate and get along and love one another. And I am thankful for that journey that I'm on right now. I'm thankful for this video. I'm thankful for Reverend Dahlia asking us to do this. And I'm thankful for my church, my community, love. And that's about it. Thank you.
I am thankful for our family. I am thankful for our friends. I am thank you for our Zoom classes. I am thankful for our family as well, family both near and far. I'm thankful for the ability to stay in touch with everyone. And um, I'm thankful for the ability to both give and receive at this time. Thank you. I am thankful for my wonderful family here and away. I am thankful for my extended family and you know who you are. I am thankful for the ability to put my love into action. Happy Thanksgiving. And so I too want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to each and every person who joins us online for services. I want to thank you for the energy you bring, the love that you bring. I want to thank all of the people who volunteer at Unity of the Valley Spiritual Center. I am so inspired by you. I am so amazed by the dedication and the love that you bring. I want to say thank you to each and every one who has reached out to help others in the community. And, and I love hearing about that and getting feedback about that. I want to thank you for allowing me, welcoming me, into the community of Unity of the Valley. You as a community have been an amazing gift in my life, an amazing inspiration. And I could go on and on, but I won't. Just, I want you to know, I thank you and I appreciate you. At the end of the service, we will have more of our congregants and some ministers who have participated in our service also sharing their thank yous. So stay tuned and please remember these words of Khalil Gibran, wake at dawn with a winged heart and give thanks for another day of loving. Namaste. Namaste.